um joining me once again it's a new year it's not too late to wish you happy new year thank you for your support um watching the content of this video you're sharing the way you show your love in different form i really appreciate it thank you once again and um this year we'll be starting epiphany series with um a series on godly courtship and um i understand i've come to realize that this is a concept that is greatly misunderstood or underutilized so i wish or i am going to you know take different angles from um my perspective with the help of the holy spirit you know to delve into um series on courtship join you with me and do well to share this content with people that you know is going to be a benefit too thank you so much. today we'll be starting with what is courtship we are going to start with the what and why um courtship is simply to me defined by me you know courtship is simply a more defined relationship you know there's this chaos there's this um you know, there's this imbalance in the meaning and definition of courtship as of is courtship the same as dating? Is dating more serious than courtship? Is courtship more serious than dating? To me, I believe courtship dating is not just about the terminology, it's not about the words, it's about the individual. A school of thought says courtship is a more serious relationship than dating. Why dating? You know, you are allowed to test the waters. You are allowed to do multiple partners. You want to be sure you're going to settle down with the best person after sampling two, three, four, five, as the number may be. You know, after sampling all of those people as a lady or sampling the guys as the guy or sampling the ladies, after sampling them, you are now sure after dating a couple of them, and them. So they feel some people feel dating is not serious, but courtship is like okay, I'm going with. This this person you know god is leading me there's a deep conviction and i'm going with this individual and um you know i believe god is leading me and this is going to end up in marriage to me like i said before courtship is um greatly um more of the individuals in that relationship and that courtship and that dating the individuals in that relationship it's what matter most and it's something we have actually neglected so and we are going to be seeing who and what um should be in courtship as this um series um progresses um, um as a godly individual yes i know culture i know norms environments influences um this definition or this content of what courtship is of what um dating is but as a godly individual what is certain anywhere all over the world is that your intention should be aligned with that which is, which is of the scripture what matter most is uh, is your intention your heart your individuality it speaks in your action in that relationship it speaks in your activities in that relationship it speaks on the structure it speaks on your readiness to go through processes your readiness to go through what is right in that relationship underline what i'm trying to say courtship dating understand the difference is just the individual and i've said it it goes beyond the terminology of courtship or dating let's first start with the individual in that relationship then we can now say oh, okay this is balanced or this is not balanced all right so that's that for what is courtship now we are going to go to why courtship you know um some people have even said that um courtship is an is heresy um that is from the pit of hell <laughs> i want to laugh out loud to such um saying but um I believe whatever, thank God it is well stated or we have a scriptural example in the life of Joseph and Mary relationship. So, okay, let's go back to why. Why courtship? You know, it's no news that, um, and very certainly though, it's no news that some people, especially we ladies, we use this term of courtship, either six months, either nine months, either a year, some even run into two years. Courtship, you call it courtship. Yes, you know, we use this period to just prepare for just a few hours event, which they call wedding. Wedding is just a few hours event. Okay, the longest wedding ceremony I have heard is that of one week. And after one week, wedding ends, marriage starts. And um, it's important to note that um, you have to prepare properly for your marriage. No dispute. You have to, you know, prepare for your wedding, you know, celebrate your wedding in a grand style. I am not disputing that fact. But understand that when you, someone say, when you see marriage as a ministry, you have a deeper understanding of how to prepare for it and way beyond wedding. It's, it's a time, courtship is a time, in a nutshell, number one, courtship is a time to build foundation in your planning, in your prayer, in your preparation. This is the, this is the foundation for your marriage and you want to ensure you're building a right foundation. You know, someone say courtship um, uh, marriage is um, um involves welding and wedding wedding and welding wedding is the joining of hands in the public which lasts in few hours and it's just a day thing 
Huh? Right? Then welding is the joining of hearts. Usually not in a public. Welding is the joining of art. And this lasts for a lifetime. You know, just like when you are welding two irons together, you are you are applying it. Now, the it here in, in the marriage, in the welding of marriage, it's um love, time, understanding, and the list continues. So you want to be sure you're not even you are not even you know yoked with unbelievers as of um second Corinthians chapter six, verse fourteen to sixteen states to us that we should not be unequally yoked with unbeliever now number two reason why courtship is that um courtship can be a lifesaver um and that is that is also going to take me back to number one stating the fact that why i am my brows are well raised against people that use courtship word only to plan wedding courtship period can be a lifesaver in such a way that it can save you from marrying for not marrying the wrong person it can save you that you don't eventually end up with the wrong person for your life you know um and that is why I usually frown against um, partners in courtship not to get sexually involved, because especially we women, once again, I beg your pardon. We have this, you know, tendency to, after we are involved with our body, to easily want to overlook the, the guy's great side, to want to overlook some things that are not supposed to be overlooked, you want to overlook some red signals that are supposed to make you be on your, as in, you are running, you are fleeing away. But because you're already involved, you know, you want to overlook. Emotion is already involved. Because truly, yes, we women, we are emotional. No doubt. Yes, that's the truth. <laughs> right? Okay, so both though, some will still have their calculating brain on. But the word of God is even still clear. You know, courtship is different to marriage. You should not be sexually involved with such an individual. Then, um, truly, you can't know everything about that person in courtship. You know, like I was trying to refer to you as that is a good, it can be a, a life Saver. Truly, you can't know everything about that individual, even though it's a 10 years courtship. But it's just like, um, okay, I, um, you have a structure, you have a building, right? And you were given an opportunity to peep into the building through the windows. You can agree with me that, yes, you can't get 100% picture of what that building is or what the beauty entails. But you can, with if you're if you're patient and you have the knowledge that yet you want to have an insight, you can take a peep into the structure and you get information of what is needful that can make you say, okay, this and this is what entails, what is entailed in that building. So that is why I say courtship can be a lifesaver. Then number three, it's a time to meet and know your family to be, you know, um, the background really matters. It can help you to you know get understanding of who you are going to set with. Truly, yes, background does not does not always relate to the person you are dealing with. The person might have changed either for good or for bad, but definitely it's a, it, you need that um that 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 bank of knowledge by 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 knowing who you are rolling with, meeting your family to be your your in laws to be, and um, ensuring that they are not even one of your lost relative. Um, so this is going to be the three points of why courtship, and um, I believe um other series is going to be coming up, and you will be able to get some lesson of why you should um ensure that you go through a courtship period rightly. And so till I come again your way next time on this relationship series got the courtship series i want you to remain blessed share this content please share it share it to people that is going to be a blessing to them and um i'll be coming your way next time thank you so much god bless you i remain your relationship just partner a lot to me thank you